What do we have here? Arc de Triomphe in Asian style. A little bit unexpected, I would say. Let's take a closer look. It's pretty impressive. I think it's a little bit smaller than the original, but nevertheless, pretty big. And it sits on a long boulevard. I would agree it's a French style boulevard. Arc de Triomphe. Awesome view. Yeah, in my mind it took inspiration in France. And I will tell you a little story about this. And I am not 100% sure it's true or if it's just a story, but it goes like this. In the 60s, American government offered money to Lao government to build a runway. And of course, they took the money. Who wouldn't want a runway? And they used the money to build this. Hence, it's called nowadays sometimes by some people vertical runway. If it's true, it's pretty funny story. A small country kind of can't a superpower. But they of course have an official story here. So let's go and read it. Here is the official story. Originally known as so on so on monument. The monument was designed by a Lao architect in 1957. It was completed in 68. The monument is 49, me 49 meters high and so on. And it was built to commemorate the Lao soldiers, fallen heroes and those who fought for Lao independence. The design was inspired by a Lao Buddhist art found in local architecture, such as the lotus flower. Interestingly enough, they don't mention any source of funding. And even more interesting is they don't mention anything about Arc de Triomphe, even though it's clear to everyone who saw a picture or was in Paris that's where the concept came from. If I am guessing correctly, this is in French and it says Ministry or Department of Agriculture and Forests. And again, a sign in French. Let me take a step, of, step at it. Ministry of Public Works and Transport. Ministry of Technology and Communications. Oh wow. I have to pat myself on my back. I'm getting so good at translating signs in French language in Laos. Work is gone. So I terminated my business relationship with the tuk-tuk driver and I paid him and I told him I want to walk from here to the direction of my hotel and I asked him which way should I go from here and he pointed me to the direction that Google and Maps do not agree with and then I realized Google is probably correct because my hotel is close to the Mekong River and Mekong River is this direction so I will go this way and we will see I missed zebra and now I'll be jaywalking again I need to find some place to change money 
Oh wow, look at this. 16,000 for this plate. That's one US dollar. Great deal. And one good deal after another. Look at all those pictures. Everything between 10 and 20,000. So it's uh, like 75 to 1 dollar 40. Awesome prices. Big C Mini. A market. A local market. Let's check it out. Big C Mini. Kind of standard everywhere. Okay, let's have to the drink section. Heineken. Dear Law. Dear Law. Carlsberg. Ah, this looks like Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero. Six and a half thousand, that's less than 50 cents. I think I'll get it. Vientiane Capital Bus Route. So, you can take a bus to travel around. And did I mention that one million people live here in the capital of Laos? Well, it doesn't have a feel like a one million city, to tell you the truth. It's kind of more laid back, relaxed than I would expect. But you don't have to take a bus. Actually, I never do, never did. Uh, it's quite convenient to take tuk-tuk right here. You have to haggle, sometimes really badly. I got quoted prices like five times higher. Frequently what they do is you hire them and in front of the hotel or place where you stay and uh, like just happened to me. And I went somewhere and since they were closed, I turned back immediately. Uh, he took me back to the hotel where he usually stands in front of. And then he wanted more money and I'm telling him, no, you are coming back here anyway. So yeah, usually taxi drivers and tuk -tuk drivers don't give you a local price and what's even worse they try to kind of don't want to say scam but get as much money as they can depending how how confused and stupid you look I guess but in that case I usually just walk away and and nine times out of ten they run after me and the price suddenly magically drops to one half, one third, sometimes even more. I realize that they need to make money but I am just more for kind of a, I don't want to say honest but realistic, realistic prices. And as I said, Lao is part of what used to be called French Indochina. So there are still traces of French in this city. And one of the traces is here. That's where I'm going, on the left. Café Vanille, French bakery. And on the other side is La Terrasse Bakery Cafe. And I think I will go to La Terrasse first. This is my favorite baguette de tradition, French tradition baguette. 
and they have some baguette sandwiches for 48,000 so it's like three dollars US of course not bad I would say well not bad prices I'm pretty sure the taste will be good but let's not jump the gun so I didn't get anything to eat maybe later it's still morning a dumpling with minced meat inside and an egg and it cost um, 14,000 2 times 7 which is like 90 cents or something I have ordered what's called rice noodles and duck that's what it said on the menu and it's kind of like a soup and I can take some mints and drop them into the soup while it's still hot and I think it's basil or some mint mm, yeah very aromatic and that would be enough what else do we have here? Uh, lemon or lime. That always helps. I forgot what the price was. 17,000, 23,000, uh, something around 20,000. Which translates to something like a dollar and a half. I mean, it's uh, very cheap, at least for me. It's an it's, uh, excellent deal. Done. Finito. Finish. So I think this will be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care. Goodbye.